Hello Market Club members everywhere, Adam Hewison here coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. And we're going to start off by looking at Apple, but before we do that, I want to share with you something that I noticed and I want to point out. Here are the markets we're going to be looking at today, and the one thing I want you to see very clearly is that they're all pretty much in conflict except for one market. And that one market is right here, and that's the goal because it has three green trade trials. If you look at Apple, you have a red monthly same with Alibaba same with Twitter same with crude oil the Dow Nasdaq and the S&P 500 so they're conflicted so you would have weeklies going up monthly is going down it means it's a trading range and that's the key thing to remember here so let's go back to the charts and look at Apple let's say the trading points so this is after the announcements to this is today's action we're up about a little over two percent I think about almost two and a half percent which is okay but not spectacular and certainly not over the highs that we saw there on Friday uh, when we traded up as high as 1922 I would say that's a big level for Apple to get over with and I'm not sure it's going to do it right away so again we've got the monthly negative and the weekly positive indicating a conflict and a trading range so we're up here and another thing to look at on Apple is to look at the weekly chart and you can see we're right up against resistance on the weekly RSI another indication that this could potentially be a problem not saying that it is but it could be so let's be very careful with that market again if we see this market move over I think it's around the 22 23 level then I think things have changed for Apple but for the time being I'm not so sure I'm a little bit conflicted I think Apple's basically done with its innovation to a certain extent I think other leaders will come in like Google with their Android phones and so forth why well, spend several hundred dollars when you can spend maybe 20 or 30 dollars and get an Android phone so let's see how that plays out Alibaba's had a pretty nice run here you can see but again we have the conflict of the monthly beam down from 77.77 which is a little bit where we are now right around these points here and the weekly kicking in at $68 right around here so again we can put those in for you and show you right there that's where we kicked in 68.08 so you can see the market went up which meant you should be out of any short positions you had in Alibaba right now now the key thing for Alibaba is to really make this move over I think 85 level but uh, we'll let that play out and see how it happens but let's just take a quick look at a monthly chart and you can see I think we really have to go let's just go out to the max I think we have to see this market really trade over the 85 level to really get something going on the upside to change the general direction I don't think that's going to happen necessarily on this particular trip so let's see how we go with this now Twitter has been really trending down they really haven't discovered a market yet still a trading range 55 monthly down weekly up conflict again and it's way below the 50 line so I don't think there's a lot of excitement going on there with Twitter I don't think there's any reason to jump in and try and pick a bottom that is not the way to trade but generally speaking they're looking for an audience they only picked up about 3 million users last quarter which was disappointing to the market so we'll see how that plays out but it's down uh, quite a bit today about six or seven percent and we'll see this is a monthly chart you're looking at so if I look at it daily you get a much better idea there's, there's the drop and we get closer in there's the drop today's drop and you can see it's right back to the 50 line if we close lower than the 50 line I think we're going to see some more pressure on the downside possibly to the the, the 24 even down to the 22 level again the big star today is gold look at the all the trade channels are green now the daily kicked in you can see today we talked about that at $1,169.25 uh, that was the sign on our World Cup portfolio we use the weekly for trend and the daily for timing so you should be long gold now if we're correct in our analysis we should have something like this happen to gold let me show you what I mean we should have a move similar to from these levels up to these levels so we're looking at somewhere in the seventy ninety dollar range from where we are right now so I, I, we can see this market add let's say seventy dollars be conservative onto this level so we're looking at one thousand two hundred and thirty dollars on the upside if we scope this out further screw the screen that sort of takes you back to these levels right here the high this day was two thousand and the high this day was one thousand two hundred and thirty two dollars so I would look for that level to be tested on this swing up you can see the swings perhaps a little clearer on this picture right here and that is there's the move there's the move and I think we can see one more move will take us up to about this level which takes us back to these areas back here so very bullish on gold right now I would say any kind of pullback you want to be a buyer and you should have been a buyer today based on our trade triangles and what we were saying 
on our World Cup portfolio. This is the Euro. Uh, we are negative on the Euro with our weekly down and our daily up. You should be out of the market right now, but longer term, I think uh, it's just in a big trading range. Nothing to get excited about on this market right now. Crude oil had a big update today. Uh, let's just scope this in a little further so we get a closer view. You can see here, but generally speaking, that took us out of our short position at, from 44.45 at 44.95 small loss but nonetheless you have gotta be disciplined you can see we actually caught a nice move down uh, here in this position and I think that's the key thing to remember just let's stay uh, let's stay out of the market right now and wait we're getting back to the 50 area which should be resistance now here's the Dow you can see we have a conflict between the monthly and the weekly 70 plus 70 it's a trading range I think it it's running out of gas even though it's the markets up today I think we're not going to have too much further to go on the upside. That's my feeling. And the reason I say that is because if you go back here, we pointed this out yesterday, we can get some very strong resistance levels starting from here and going all the way across. So I think that's where we're up against. I think it's going to be very difficult to vault over those areas. Same picture for the S&P 500. We're back in this area of uh, resistance, in my opinion and I think it's going to be a problem for the market. As long as we see the monthly trade triangle remaining red right here, then I think you're in a trading range. That's the key to this market. This is the NASDAQ. Uh, you can see we've jumped today. We're getting closer to these highs, but this is again, this is where the resistance and possible where we'll see a reversal coming in to these levels. So I would say be very, very careful uh, with these markets, especially the indices. Hey, I'm Adam Hewis, and thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments you'd like to leave below this, please feel free to do so. We'll do our very best to answer them within 24 hours. Have a great trading day, everyone.